Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Last of the Star Holes, and I think I'll go back to Neil, because I you know I played a, a lot more than I had Neil, but <laughs> So Star Tournament, Links, you know the stats. Let's do it. Uh, you see alright off the bat there's some booze hanging around here. Well what what the poop do they do anyway? Well, let's see if I can get myself in position to show you here. I'll just kind of control my shot to put the booze in my way, and uh, we'll see how things turn out, right? 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 Okay, so yeah, now the booze are in my way. Now I can hit my ball through the booze if I'd like to show it safely. Uh, so what the booze do is that they knock your ball out of the air severely. So let's say I'm going to take a three wood here. See how, see how much power I've lost by going through the boo there? But my drive, I mean my distance is normally that. But if I were to hit through the boo, it does something more like that. <laughs> so it's 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 sort of a hindrance in a way, but it could also be used as a benefit depending on how soft you want your ball to come down. In that case, I went through the boo, and then I well, it, it didn't quite go. But <laughs> it didn't quite go on the green. But you see how you see how you can use that. And I'm gonna try and chip this in. I think overhit that so backspin. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. One under through one. And, uh, yeah, so boos are the main star type gimmick thing here. By the way, uh, there's a boo hiding the pipe here, if you can't tell there. So that's a relatively easy way to actually get into the pipe, but I think I could actually get more distance by landing my ball on the fast fairway up there. So let's just do that and uh, rocket it forward. I'm not doing super topspin or anything like this, because I think it'll be too much if I do super topspin. Like, yeah, oh, it was still too much. <laughs> I didn't want to go in the heath, but I ended up in the heath. Uh, thanks to my impact area, I can actually use three woods out of the heath. Even a, even a driver, but it, it cuts back on the power too much when I use the driver out of heath, so. And it also cuts, uh, cuts down on the, the height and everything, so I'm going to just try and land it on the panel at the right angle so that it lands on the panel and then bounces to the green, hopefully. Oh! Slight miss hit, but I don't think it'll matter that much. Just go, 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 you sucker! <laughs> ah, I, wasn't, I didn't have the right angle to it, that's alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna go just a. Yeah, it's, it's pretty aligned, but I think. I, I moved it a smidge to the right because I think it's gonna hit that, that front slope a little bit. Oh, it didn't! It didn't! Oh, shoot! Oh! Oh! Maybe it did. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it didn't center me automatically, and I, and I put myself back in center. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, let's try going through a box <laughs> because it's actually in my way. Uh, I want to actually go. I want to have some control over my landing, though. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a shot. And super backspin because the wind, and everything is just gonna push me forward, including the bounce and everything. So up oh, there we go. Experience points that are completely useless! Yeah, I love getting that! <laughs> and another birdie. <laughs> I love getting birdies more than useless experience points. Um, hmm. I don't know... Because that, that boo could actually come and play if I end up down here like I, I, like I would prefer to play. Uh, let's try a riskier shot, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I should, say, I should say what I think is a less riskier shot. Going into the pipe. Oh, maybe I can't... Oh, that would be kind of hard to judge because of the wind. Uh, fine, I'll just try and go past everything and control it with super backspin. Hopefully it won't end up in the heath, because there is a good patch over there and it's got my ball's name on it. Okay, that turned out well. <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. I thought I was going to go up top, but that turned out like as safe as could've, it could have possibly been. Alright, with the wind, I'm holding back on power and backspinning it. Because, you know, the wind with the high trajectory, gotta keep it, gotta keep it under control. There we go. And let's do a rave party for another birdie, because I don't have to move the cursor! <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, let's see what I can do here. I'd like to hit through that star, but I think this, at this angle, I think it's just gonna plop me in the water. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, 
hit over there where that box is and use the wind to actually get oh shoot that's under hit but yeah use the wind to actually get myself as far past everything and use the rough to bounce and control the bounce oh that worked out nicely all right there we go and that means I should be able to get another birdie keyword should uh, just a little backspin to control it because again the wind is heavy heavily with me here so gotta control that oh too much Oh, man. Can I chip it? Well, I can chip it, but can I chip it in? Uh, hold on a sec. That looks good. Chip in, chip in, chip in, chip in. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now I'm sad, because I'm... I'm losing my birdie curve. Look at that. Four under through five holes. What? What? Is, what is this craziness? <laughs> Oh, by the way, yeah, you can earn birdie badges and stuff here uh, in this mode, too, so they kind, of, they kind of overlap on the tournaments for whatever reason, even though the holes, you know, play different because of the mushroom elements and whatnot. So here I'm trying to land it on, the, yeah, just the front edge of the green, but mm, maybe I should have super backspin that. I'm really misjudging stuff this round, and I'm sad because of that. <laughs> Can I chip it in? No, I can't, I can't even chip it in, dang it. Oh man, I even missed on the same side of the hole and everything. But I think I actually overhit that. So even if it would have went like ran over the hole, it would have popped up over it, or uh, just ran right across it. Uh, this one, I think. I think I'm gonna wanna go and curve it around to kind of feed it in bunker town between the bunkers. <laughs> On and landed on the fast fairway with super backspin. See, it kind of controls it with the power of the rough, and there we go, right in the center and everything. Um, bad lie on it, but I don't think it'll matter with such high trajectory. Uh, let's go all camera, uh, camera, camp. I just, I just want to go a little bit. I'm gonna go until. The, okay, I'm gonna go until there, because I know it pooped me out of there when I was near the spot that I wanted to aim for. And I'll just uh, kind of plop it on thusly. Oh, that's gonna be too much backspin. Yeah, um, came in way too high for comfort. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit to the right, a little past the mark, because it's way uphill, and I'm going through fringe and stuff. Oh, it goes in. <laughs> I'm sure I could put it in as a chip in, but I can't actually chip it with wedge as a chip in or an iron as a chip in. It's just how things go with me this round, I guess. And now I'm gonna go and plot myself past the fast fairway using the fast fairway because there's a little, you know, there's a little patch of fairway right there, and yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's not as risky as risky as it looks because I, I'm able to actually do some running there and. Even if I missed a spot and ended up in the semi-rough or rough there, it wouldn't have mattered because I still have a clear shot to the green. So it's just a matter of keeping myself away from trees more than anything with uh, uh, this drive distance that I've got here. Control, 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 dang it! <laughs> I'm overhitting! <laughs> ah! Ah! It would be fine if, I'm, if I would have been playing short and then overhitting, but no, no, I'm just playing overhitting. All right, Eagle, I still got gotcha. you. And, um, uh, 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 hmm, uh, oh wait, that, uh, I was just thinking of my, um, the, the birdie badges don't overlap. I was just, it's just that I haven't played the star mode all that much in my, uh, um, on this particular game card. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to spread false information. <laughs> it's just that I forgot that Like for a second that I'm on a diff totally different save file for some reason So yeah, the, the, the birdie badges that I'm getting here it, It's just that I didn't fill them up because I haven't played the star modes enough to fill them up uh, But you know based on the way that I'm playing here. i why didn't I put backspin on that? That was just stupid, but yeah based on the way that I'm playing it's uh not that big of a deal or anything like that so I'm not too concerned about the 
concerned about it or anything. Uh, it's, it's something that I would rather get off camera, I guess, than anything. Ah, oh, finally! <laughs> there we go. Because, like, once you get... Like, once you understand the actual strategy to things, uh, you can birdie and get, get eagle on every hole. Oh, and they're technically called best badges, but I, I, I call them birdie badges since the Mario Golf N64 days, because that's what they call them. They always give you a birdie badge regardless of whatever score that you got on a hole. Because uh, they didn't have differentiations or anything like that, and that, that habit just kind of stuck with me. Uh, anyway, that was a pretty good shot. It's just that it ran a little much. That's okay, because it was on the down slope. I'm going to tap it down the hill carefully. Huh. I thought that was going to be straight, but it wasn't. Because I was right in between the arrows on the line, so I didn't even think to move the, the curse or anything like that. My, uh, my birdie curve. My birdie curve. <laughs> Uh, let's try and get ourselves onto that boost panel and rockets all the way to the green! Preferably. <laughs> Maybe I can eagle this part four. Actually, I'm not seeing that happening, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> I tried to get across both panels. I mean, I hit both panels, so it kind of worked, but not in the way that I was going for. And a nice low running shot that'll do one bounce and stuff. Oh, that's not very low. <laughs> Why wasn't that low? I was in the rough. Well, well, well. Uh, I'm gonna have to go into... Yep. Yep. So, way past the mark. It's uphill and everything. Oh, no! <laughs> My birdies! My birdies! What's going on? Yeah, Lynx Club is still a tough course, so... Maybe I'm being a little bit too too lenient with my uh, uh, with my strategy here and that I, I should be playing for more precision than I am just kind of mashing through stuff but eh, I don't know I'm kind of having fun just kind of going at my own speedy pace and I didn't mean to hit that mound ah now I can't hit the green in two uh, or can I uh, maybe oh uh, yeah I can uh, kind of maybe let's just Oh, oh, mm, hmm. I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm still going for it with super backspin and everything. And, and, it's coming in for a landing. That's not bad. I think it's actually in a backspin off the green, but the thing about it is that I, I would have a similar putt no matter which side I'm on. I would, I just prefer to be like more over here more than anything, but eh, eh, that's golf for ya. <laughs> Okay, a lot of side slope here as you see me play. Ah, oh, I didn't play enough of it. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. I can't recover my birdie curve. <laughs> I mean, I got a birdie there, but I'm 9 under through 12. What is, what is this craziness? And I'm actually in second place. That's just, that's just sickening. Sickening, I say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go back over to this side, I think. Because I think... I'll end up in the water if I try going for the green or anywhere near the green based on those slopes. So I'm gonna go plop myself over on this portion of fairway here. There we go. Those boos are kind of switching their layering there back and forth. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Um, I'm gonna go land it past the hole and backspin it back because I can use the the, the slope against me to, as my uh, like a little bit of an advantage here. Watch this, watch this. See his landing past, and then it comes back onto the flat spot. Oh yeah! Now I can put another birdie under my belts. And now I'm in first place! <laughs> I feel better now! <laughs> uh, and uh, you know it was gonna happen because they're gonna drop shots. And I just... I don't know, I wanted more birdies than I was getting this round. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of funny that the computers are actually doing better on the Lynx course than they did on the Dunes course. Unless they're just going to keep dropping shots, and then they're going to end up below where they were, I should say higher than they were on the Dunes course, but... Eh, we'll see, I guess. There's, there's still more holes to go. Five holes to go, actually. Not, not more holes, just five holes. <laughs> I don't know why I spe specified more holes. 
I mean, why, why didn't be more specific about that? I don't know, I'm just kinda... kinda dazed out at my lack of birdies, maybe. But I got another birdie, so that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can hit through the box. There wasn't... <laughs> I haven't really been hitting through... Uh, many of the mushroom elements on this course, have I? And since I'm now gaining strokes, I guess I can mess around a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I didn't hit I didn't even hit through the box! <laughs> what the heck? That's, well, I don't even know how I missed that. Oh, well. Okay, I gotta move a bit to the right because of the wind. And... Should, in theory, come back and it didn't. Ah, oh, I broke after the hole! <laughs> oh, sad face. Sad face. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't help but smile at that, really. Um, I got a bunch of boost panels there, which would probably help uh, if, I, if I was hitting at the right angle. Like, if I was hitting back over at, say, the, the fronties or something like that. Well, actually, no, the fronties are worse. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how those boost panels would be helpful then. Maybe they're not supposed to, and they're supposed to put you in the water or something. Uh, but yeah, it just doesn't seem like a good idea to hit on those things ever then. So I'm just gonna hit over to the fairway past them. Uh, hopefully not in the heath. I'm just... Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't think I would carry that much. Oh, well. Oh, no. I, I, I'm losing my birdie curve even further now because I can't eagle this sucker. <laughs> uh, that's all right. I came a little close to the water, though. I just wanted to hit, hit past that and get myself back in play. Uh, I'm gonna do a little running shot here, just kind of get it under control here with the wind and everything like that. So a nice low controlled shot. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Yeah, when you uh, the lower you hit your ball, the less it'll be affected by the wind. So I just kind of knocked down the trajectory there. And it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, let's see if I can get myself between the fast fairway and the heath. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will work out, but that's where I'm aiming for. Uh, I should say fast fairway bunker and uh, heath, but no, didn't quite work out. Uh, I just wanted to kind of bounce myself in a good position, but it, it doesn't really matter as long as I've got a clear shot to the green. So that's mainly what I was going for here. It didn't have to do with, you know, worrying about the lie or anything like that. It was just a matter of positioning. And this one I want to get... Eh, ooh, why did I let that one go so far? I should have just played in front. Well, well... Gotta hit pretty far past the mark due to the rain! Yeah! <laughs> I wasn't sure about that because... Well, fast fairways and rain just doesn't mix. Uh, I'm gonna hit over into the boo to control my shot. I see opportunity here, so I'm going for it. Because <laughs> what this should do is cause my ball to drop out of the sky and softly onto the fast fairway rather than just rocketing into the fast fairway at a low angle like this. It comes down more like this. So yeah, that's that worked out nicely. And I'm gonna go and backspin it right next to the hole, preferably. Oh, well, I think I'm gonna still put backspin on that anyway, even though I mishit it, because I think it's still gonna turn out just fine. Uh, yeah, it's just a matter of keeping it on the flat spot there. I, could, I wanted to be closer, because there's a lot of room to get closer to it, but it was it was a miss hit on the power gauge. All right, there we go, 14 under par. <laughs> That's not as good as I could have done, but eh. I will take it. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Yep. After the useless experience. <laughs>